So guys, the, the music business, as I said it from the outset, has changed drastically in the past little while, and nobody probably feels that more than you. And I want to take our, our panel and, and our audience today through a, a bunch of different areas of, of what that change has meant for you. Um, I'd like to start off by the fact that A&R has largely changed in the past while. I'm wondering where you go now to find the signings that you've ended up with most recently. Where are you looking for the talent that uh, you're working with now or the talent that you're going to be working with in the next few years? And Alan, maybe we can start with you. Yeah, I think um, the A&R process is still um, pretty much the same as it ha always has been. You know, I still rely on industry contacts, you know, agents, managers, club owners, bookers, and most importantly, other artists. Um, uh, bands that we have out touring, Joel Plaskett's a great one. Joel's always on the road and he's always calling up saying, you gotta check this band out, you gotta check this band out. Um, what really has changed in the air process, it used to be, when I was at Universal, we get about 2,000 to 2,500 submissions a year coming in, a cassette or a CD in an envelope, please listen to my, my record, let me know if you like it. That process has completely changed. You know, rarely you know, do you find something through that process, initially anyway, but now it is a link is forwarded to you. Um, you know, it's, everything is online, you don't, you know, getting CDs is almost antiquated. Um, but still, going out to see bands and falling in love with music is the root of it. You know, you can't, you can't bypass that step. For me, if I want to sign an artist, I have to see them play live. And they have to have that it quality uh, when you see them live. So, uh, the process has changed on a lot of levels, but I still think the root of, you know, finding great talent is the basis of seeing great talent. So Ralph, you have so many artists on your label, the tendency would be to be in the office all the time, but how are you getting out to find these acts as well? Because you're, you're out in the road probably three quarters of the year. Um, how are you managing to get out and see the talent that you're gonna sign and work with over the next year or several years? Um, you know, I mean, the, just to echo what Alan just said is that the talent finds us for the most part. You know, the seeds thing for, for one, I mean, I've, I have a half a dozen artists on my roster that came out of the Seeds program. Whether they won or not, they came out of that program. And I'm not here to kiss your ass, but like that, it, it's been a very positive thing. There's been other radio programs uh, as well that, you know, there's not as many as there used to be. I mean, there's actually a few new ones that have popped up. But the, the long and the short of it is that uh, there's so much has changed in the delivery and everything, but at the end of it, Great bands are great bands, and they, you know, you hear about them, and people always say, "Well, how does my band get your attention?" Well, if you're any f good, I would have heard about you already. You know, <laughs> you know, that of course is, you know, taking it to the extreme. But the, the the fact of the matter is, is that you know, you like good news travels faster than bad news. 